because Carter Witt, the freshman, just out of the high school ranks for Wake Forest, he is out tonight. Rolled his ankle in shoot around today. Got handsy there against Oguama. And they really do a great job flicking their hands out there. Had the schedule shuffled around due to COVID. They were supposed to have a couple of conference games at home out of the gates, but instead, this is the first ACC home game. And Odie Oguama scores in the first five to wait. And that's the trainer just held his position, didn't let Oguama get by, made it contested the shot. Johnson with the first two for Louisville. Need throws the line. And two for Odie Oguama. And a five-point Wake Forest lead. Carly Jones cans a three. The grad transfer from Radford. And there's just nothing on a basketball court that he can't do. And if you give him that much time from three, he's going to make a very high percentage. And Neath, that's a good job by Neath to recognize that his defender's laying on the ground and take the ball to the goal. So it's Wake up by four, and there's Williamson. Now when Lucius gets it, he's usually going to shoot it. Ah! Trainer at the rim from Johnson. <laughs> nice pass. One point lead on the road in Winston-Salem. Johnson up top for Trainer. And you got a win earlier today. So the Cavaliers sitting at 4-0 in the ACC. Louisville trying to do the same. And up by three now on the drive. Jones gave it up for Williamson. He's got his second three, and that's a very encouraging sign for Samuel Williamson. Including Io Desumu, the Illinois star. He's in very small company, an elite company in that regard. And he's got two more on the drive, and Steve Forbes wants a timeout. He talked about how he has improved as a three-point shooter now in his second season. And Damian Williamson had his shot blocked in Louisville's running. On the hit ahead for Trainer underneath with two more. Get, get the get the thing reversed here. Well, remember, they're playing without a guy who's been starting recently in Carter Witt. But Louisville defense is just swarming. Wake Forest can't really run their stuff. Johnson hits from three, much needed for Wake. Attempted 23 field goals on the season, and 17 of them have been from beyond the arc. Quinn Slazinski out of the corner with a three of his own, the sophomore from Houston. Tipped a rebound so his teammates could recover it. That resulted in a Louisville score. They can pop with Ishmael Masood. It was a very nice pass underneath, but Dre Davis couldn't finish through the contact. With the margin at nine, Masood driving and finishing on the second effort. Josh Nickelberry from three. Really bothered that layup. Williamson flashes and scores on the block over Musius. Could have saved himself a lot of trouble and just stayed in Coral Field. <laughs> yeah, that's an ulcer waiting to happen if you hear that ahead of time. As Dre Davis scores and has a chance at three coming out of the timeout. That's, that's a tough way to go no matter who you're playing. you got to get some easy ones. Nice move by Isaiah Musius. Williams on the drive with two. And a timeout Louisville with Wake on a 7-0 run. Well, into the game for the first time for Louisville, Charles Minland in his Louisville debut as Wake trims it to six on a three. We saw him play a little bit of zone, but they've been back to the man-to-man -man since that last time out. J.J. Trainer with the jump shot. Guama missed it. Well, he was surprised he was so wide open. And Louisville makes him pay from deep with David Johnson. He can score, as I said, in inside. He can score with his back to the basket. He can score in the mid-range, and here Wake goes back to the zone. Or rather, no, that was Jalen Weathers who had the bucket. Davian Williamson from long range with a three. 
Williamson has started the year shooting very slowly from beyond the arc, but that was a good looking stroke there. Weathers two more from Sam Williamson. Guy who played a pretty big role in the game against Duke. Played nearly 30 minutes. Carly Jones on the takeaway, finishing through the contact. And the Louisville bench is wondering where was the foul call. And that's now three steals in the game for Carly Jones. And here Davis comes up with one. Taking it the other way and four quick ones for Louisville. Timeout Wake Forest. Turnover has been something that Steve Forbes has talked about. It's Joe Antonio connects from dribbles it or something, then that allows the defense to collapse. You see it's flashed, and then he scores over Samuel Williamson. That came out on Williamson, who slipped a nice pass to Odio Guama. And it was to your point as well on Williamson dribbling and creating off the penetration. Oh, wow. About that shot by Carly Jones. There was no angle there. On the other side, Carly Jones, in the words of Dan Bonner, there was no there there. There's the catch, and just as you said, Dan, put him in that type of spot to score. Remember earlier, that. Yeah, remember earlier in the first half, Williamson did sidestep Antonio trying to take a charge in the paint at this end of the field. Oh, what a great job by, what a great job by Wilkins. He was in the middle of that thing from the start. And look at Williamson paying it off. And remember, foreign territory for him. Not known for his free throw shooting exploits. Jones on the drive. Big time two for Louisville. We had a wide open one that time to tie the game, but UC has missed it. Oh, nice up big by Dre Davis. Patient move from the freshman. Louisville's defense doing a nice job keeping Wake out on the turning, and there's that man again. How did he spin that one up there? As that is, Wake's got it at a half dozen here, midway point of the second half. Still a long way left. Williamson gets the roll, and you said he's very effective in the mid range. Johnson with four fouls. Trainer still on the bench. He walked with it, came out, and put Withers back in, and he fouled out. And now Jones streaks to the cup, and man, Carly Jones has been great tonight. Jose Alvarado and Mike DeVoe. Davis. Oh, he spun away from Johnson and scored at the cup. And then Davis went down in a heap. Well, 68-57 with four minutes to go. And what a play by Quinn Slizinski battling with Odio Guama. Jones off the bounce with two more at the rim. 21 for Carly Jones. In the first half at Duke, had a lead in the second half. And as we said, cut it to one. And now cutting it to single digit thanks to Williamson. Sam Williamson left alone and he drills it. David Johnson, nice dump off for Dre Davis at the rim. Davian Williamson with a quick answer. Since the 08-09 season, a team that went to the Elite Eight. 77-65 the final, Chris Mack back in Winston-Salem with a win over Wake Forest.